Hi friends, hope you're doing good. Uh, I just wanted to make a very, very quick video guys. And I just wanted to show you a few things I've been like working on from regards to chat GPT and you know how it can help you in your cybersecurity career. We're seeing a lot of challenges nowadays, you know, a lot of people getting laid off, a uh, lot of cybersecurity professionals in the market who are not able to get jobs. And you know, you really need to stand out because there's so much competition nowadays. So I thought why not, since everybody is excited about chat GPT nowadays, why not show you how you can use chat GPT to really uh, help you like in your cyber security career. A lot of times I'm seeing is 90% uh, of the videos I see uh, from cyber security professionals on chat GPT. That is usually about uh, penetration testing and how to use chat GPT as a security tool, you know, how to use it for social engineering, uh, red teaming, how to use it for security code review. Nobody thinks about, hey man, I can actually use this for helping me out in my career. So I thought, why not? make a little video on that and show some of the things I've been doing. So if I choose, I'll choose GPT-4 because I like that one because I really feel it has a big advantage. And But you can use this with chat GPT 3.5 also. I mean, there's nothing stopping you. And I just wanted to show you, you know, a few things like what, what are the things you can do to really uh, stand out as it is and how to use chat GPT. So I'll give you an example. Like I coach a lot of people in the cyber security careers, right? I try to help them out if they're looking for jobs, if they want a career plan, and I help them optimize their CVs. So if you look at this CV, this was a person I helped out recently. The summary is like a lot of bullet points one after the other, right? And it doesn't stand out, it doesn't grab the attention. So if I just uh, take this summary, right? And let me put it here. If I give it to chat GPT, I said, can you optimize this? Uh, optimize, right? Is this one more? Oh no, optimize this summary. Uh, from my CV, right? And highlight my, what do you call, uh, achievements uh, in a separate section. So you want, you want to show out, right? Because you want to impress like the hiring manager and everybody, right? You want to be able to stand out. They might be getting 10,000 CVs. So this is one way to do it. So let's check it out how it goes, right? So yeah. So you, you can see now it's taking your summary and it's really optimizing it, okay? And you could say, I, I told it highlight my achievements also because this is a mistake a lot of people make. They don't really highlight what are the achievements. So it's gonna take this. Uh, it's like, uh, and it's gonna really optimize the CV. Ah, you see? So you can see just how, uh, what's it doing here? It's actually taking, not bad at all, right? And yeah, you can see, so now this is actually taking that profile and optimizing it. So this is much, much better. I can assure you as somebody, who's reviewed like thousands and thousands of CVs over like 20 years. This is a very, very high, well good CV because I look at it, okay, this is well, this is who this guy is, what he's doing. And these are the achievements, these are the things he did. And it took it all from this only. So you can imagine this looks much better than this, right? So this is a very easy way of doing it. You can do it with your professional CV. Uh, you can do it for your LinkedIn profile also, okay? Take this, I would suggest taking sections, each section step by step, putting it there and then asking it to optimize, try to prompt it with intelligent prompts tell it you want to optimize it for a, like a particular role you're looking for and all that. And it'll actually do that. So it's a very, very powerful tool when you're trying to optimize your CV, trying to optimize your profile, okay? Okay, that was from the CV perspective, right? Oh, what else, what else do you think it can do? So, I mean, let's assume, okay, you, you've uh, optimized your profile and you got a job also, okay? Uh, sorry, you got a job interview. So somebody has invited you for an interview, like say a cloud security interview, right? Like you're a cloud security engineer and now you need to prepare for that. So ChatGPT can actually help you out with that also. So you can actually tell it, like I'm preparing for a cloud security, please provide a top interview questions and the answers in the star format. So star, if you know, if you're familiar with it, it's like the situation, task, action, resolution. So it tells a story. A lot of people, they just, you know, blurt out the answers. They don't know how to tell a story. So this can actually help you out with this. So let's take a look at what it's gonna do. So, yeah. Yeah, so okay, uh, major security breach, right? Yeah, you see, so it's gonna take it in the, in the star format and you can like generate as many questions as you want, right? You can tell him, uh, uh, so it's gonna give you the top interview questions for a cloud security engineer position. And what's it gonna do? It's gonna give it in the star format and you can take a look at it. And you, you, what one thing which you can even do is, you can even, uh, what do you call, tell it what sort of job you're applying for. You can actually put the job description there, okay? within chat GPT, tell it this is the job I'm actually applying for. And can you give me the like the interview positions which might be asked? 
and give it in the star format. So it will actually take that job description and it will optimize, it will uh, focus those questions and it'll give it to you, give those cloud, uh, cloud interview, like uh, those job interview questions to you. So you can see this, how cool this is, right? So you, the situation, task, action and result. So you can actually, uh, what do you call, don't memorize these answers because then you look like a robot. It will not look organic at all. But just try to use it as a baseline, use it as a way of, you know, practicing these scenarios and you'll really get better at it the more you hears. But this is another excellent way of uh, using this sort of things, right? So uh, what else is there? So uh, this was one from the, now we've optimized your CV and uh, we've uh, like used it for getting some job interviews, right? And you can keep asking this, okay? You can keep iterating, keep iterating until you get something uh, which you might want. So what else? Now you can even use it as a study, like a coach, like somebody who recommends to you, like, uh, uh, like study plans, how to do it. So let's assume I'm preparing for the CCSK, right? The Certificate of Cloud Security Knowledge. And I'm like uh, working nine to five. I have a full-time job. I barely have like one hour in a day where I can focus on it, right? So actually you can ask it that. So you can put a prompt there and you can after, so I'm preparing with the CCSK certification, which is in one month, right? I have zero knowledge of cloud security and a full-time job. Uh, so can you propose a training plan for me? And I have around an hour each day to study. So let's see what it does, right? So, yeah. So yeah, it's a, yeah, see, it's gonna give you a four-week plan, right? So. Oh, pretty cool. See, it breaks it down into the days. So it's going to give you a complete, it's going to analyze it. Okay, uh, you have one hour per day and you have a month to go uh, before you have to like take the examination. So it's actually going to uh, recommend you a proper study plan. You don't have to follow it exactly, but this is pretty cool. You can actually break it down and use it like, uh, what, what, what do you call, uh, use it to study, right? So this is like a really excellent way of doing it, right? So you, you can imagine just how, uh, what do you call useful this can be so let's let me stop this and i'll ask it can you break it down day by day because it's uh, it's clubbing the days together right i'm seeing two to three days so let's see if it can do that because if maybe i don't want it three days i want it every day right so yeah okay you, you see so it's actually going to break it down one by one and you can combine the two to get a much better study plan which can help you even help you out more okay so what else is there guys i mean uh, uh so we've used it for optimizing the CV. You've uh, used it for, uh, what do you call, preparing for job interviews. And you've used it as a study coach. You can mix around these responses. The more detail you give in the prompt, the more detailed answer it will give, right? That's the power of chat GPT. So you can see just how man, how flexible this tool is and how it can really pay off. Okay, let me, okay, it's going on. <laughs> let me stop this. So what else is there? So the, the last one I would recommend is you can even use it as a career coach. So this is pretty cool. So like I coach a lot of people, right, who are in cybersecurity and they wanna move to another job or they wanna move to another profile and they don't know how to do it, right? So maybe you're in a technical position, you want to move to a managerial position, what to do it, how to go about it, right? You can actually give it a prompt. So like this, you're a cybersecurity career advisor, career coach, and your task is to help you move from a technical security analyst role to the cybersecurity manager one, right? Because you wanna to move to a senior role and you can tell that I've just done the CS certification and uh, you want to tell it tell me how i can move to this role and the resources i need to study provide me the links also for the resources because you don't want it just recommending and not giving you the links right so let's take a look what it does so you're actually telling it to act like a cyber security career coach to help you move from a technical role to a more managerial role right so let's see how it goes so yeah okay enhance so yeah oh okay, this is pretty cool so so what it's telling it's telling you to enhance your knowledge and uh, what do you call it? it's telling you the certifications like you have to do the ccs but yeah that is what i would recommend also it's so pretty cool it's giving you uh what do you call uh, the links also right improve your soft skills that's good yeah because you need that in a managerial position ah pretty cool so it's giving you the, the, those also right project management so uh, I, i'm sure you can see the use so as somebody i make a lot of career planning what do you call uh uh, like career uh, coaching plans for cyber security professionals. So this is pretty spot on actually. It's pretty good the way it's making it. Uh, the more in information you give about your specific scenario, the more it can tailor this, okay? So interesting, so it's saying networking, right? So what, what do I do is, uh, you can even ask it uh, like, okay. So like networking, it's telling you to do networking, okay? Can you provide more details on number four? Uh, networking right 
maybe you're not understanding it you want more like i want to more i want to know more about yeah networking is but they can do transition yeah see so it's going to break it down more so you can actually drill it down you can keep asking it questions keep iterating keep iterating until you understand so like what's it asking so so this is pretty cool i hope this helps you to see guys how chat gpt in a new light right don't just use chat gpt as a, like a fun tool if you're playing around with it if you use it properly you can actually use it to like really boost your cyber security career and really sh- show off just how powerful this tool is how it can you can really visit as somebody you are interacting with and getting useful information was so don't start just use it as a tool don't just think of it as a technical tool you can use it for uh, like code reviews and all that the, the the possibilities of this tools are much more so i hope this was useful to you guys uh, try out these things let me know if you have any issues or let me know if you got some other answers also like i said i use it for chat gpt 4 you can use chat gpt 3.5 also you might have to tinker with the prompts a little bit but the same thing applies so i hope this was useful to you guys if you found this video good please do like and subscribe and share this video thank you very much and i'll see you in the next one thank you